and not till the top till you're at Katahdin. Just stopped at the visitor center base camp. Got my 2003 Appalachian Trail tag. Hiker number 963. So why am I hiking AT? Well, it has a lot to do with my uncle who has battled cancer, leukemia, but through these complications um, was never able to fulfill that dream of hiking the Appalachian Trail. It's a uh, very humbling to hear those stories, but this is another reason why I'm hiking the Appalachian Trail, not for him, but because of him, because we need to do what we love to do when we have time to do it. Uh, I'll be turning, I think, 42. I'm coming up here soon, and, you know, I have a, a career and a house and a home and a dog and, you know, all those things, and made, made lots of money last year that I didn't really need uh, and had I held very, very little value in that. Uh, but coming out here, and, um, enjoying nature, hiking around, and um, just being witness to all the natural beauty that's around you is enough for me. All right, leaving the lodge, and it is a shit show. Uh, I already got my rain gear on. I already anticipate getting wet. Might as well start out bracing the suck. And it sucks already. <laughs> well, I'll catch up with you guys later. This is where we were yesterday, our little hike up to the falls, and then up to this approach trail. I hiked a little bit of it yesterday. Uh, go all the way up to Springer Mountain Trailhead today, and. Uh, hopefully get a shuttle back, dry out, and then start again tomorrow. Okay, looks like Springer Mountain, seven miles. Difficulty, strenuous. I think it's around... I think 7.30. It's supposed to rain all day. Well, not all day. It's supposed to let up around 11. So we'll see what happens. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is outstanding. This is fantastic. It's spectacular. We'll see how I feel. When I actually complete one mile, that's what it seems. This is my, one of my favorite things I think I'm gonna enjoy is whatever rivers or streams or, man, it's just, it's a good time to stop, take a breather and reflect on this. And these are only gonna swell with all the water. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. Awesome sight and behold, nature at its finest. Feed me, wash me, clean me, bathe me. That's where we came from. And that's where we're going. Why I'm hiking the Appalachian Trail. I'll start by saying that I fell in love, romanticized about exploring the wild frontier on your own alone in the wilderness and you know it's something that I don't want to put off any longer um, the world is shrinking around us and there's less and less opportunities to enjoy nature um, at its finest and that's untouched by man and I know you know that's something I've also romanticized and I know it's going to be uh, far from the truth as far as the Appalachian Trail being out alone in the wilderness um, or being untouched by man uh, but to travel the same route uh, up the Appalachian Trail uh, through 14 different states and 
many different cultures and um, histories uh, of change and, and progress. And, you know, I hope to see some that's still a little bit untouched and has kept its charm and uh, looking forward to that hike. So that is another reason why I'm hiking the Appalachian Trail. And I'm looking forward to uh, putting myself at the mercy of nature and enjoying all the beauty that she has to bring and offer. I want my life to have purpose. I want to get up every day and do something meaningful and fulfilling. Personally gratifying. Call it selfish. That's why I'm hiking AT. After going down to the bottom of the fall last night, I was getting to base camp and listening to Moxie, I think it was, the Ridge Runner. Uh, answering all the questions I had, we uh, drove up to a lookout point where it wasn't too far where mom could walk to the falls and that's where we overlooked the falls and did a little bit of exploring um, but then went back to the hotel room to relax and kind of organize plans before we went down to relax next to the fire enjoy the company of others and eventually get something to eat we met a couple that was sitting across from us that was from pennsylvania and then in the army both wife and husband moved to alaska did the alaskan thing moved back to pennsylvania and their journey here was getting rid of their lease selling his truck putting things in the storage saying goodbye to their adult children and then spending six months on the trail so i thought that was a unique story we sat and chatted with them for quite a while and then a uh, lady came in and she flew in, just flew in from California. I think she said she was trying to do the PCT. Um, but with all the snow out there being closed, she wasn't able to organize that. And instead flew out here to do the AT and had her pack, had just come from the airport and was ready to, for a hot meal, a good rest and get on trail. So. My meeting people already, it's awesome to hear, uh, you know, others journey and I did ask a few questions and you know, it's I guess that's what it's about learning about others and connecting not only with nature, but with like-minded people have similar interest and Again, we all have the same goal and that's the top of a giant mountain in Maine I Think I've already done the rain thing not looking forward to any pain thing but that main thing Man, that's gonna be glorious time. During my conversation at dinner last night, talking about sacrifices and the steps we had to take or make in order to even get here, it's uh, something I never said to anybody except for G2 and my mom, Paxton, people that I knew 100% would support me even if they thought it was a little bit crazy. Now for everybody else, it's about judgment, you know, and I don't think that we can live free if we're scared of what other people are going to think or say about any of us, or what they're going to judge you upon, your decisions and lifestyle. And if you live in fear, that's no life at all. And I think for a long time, I was scared of what other people thought and that is the only thing that really ever held me back is fear fear of what other people think and i gotta step out of my comfort zone and that's exactly what i did today and actually that decision to go hiking many months ago even years ago so don't be held back by fear don't be limited by what other people think about you it doesn't determine your value you do what's right in your heart. If you treat other people as well with integrity and respect, and that's a life well lived. I think this is the 
probably seventh campsite at least that I've come across and I've only seen two tents and they were right outside the lodge um, as I got past the road and then get up into the woods a little bit there was a campsite on the right hand side that had two tents and those are the only two tents I've seen out here and whatever mileage I've made so far it can have been that far but I've seen seven eight campsites and only two campers back on the trail Well, I just passed the first two people on trail I met all morning. You know, I don't want to say older, but older than me. Gentleman and a lady on their way down. I stopped for a second to see if they wanted to chat. Lady in front had no interest. And the guy in back just said, hey, starting the whole thing. Yeah. Yep. And he said good luck and then we were on our way. So nice to see some people on trail. I'm gonna take a second right now to stop at this campsite that we just came into and we're gonna try to check in this app here. Oh, so I made it maybe a third of the way. It's 926, so I'm gonna try to check in. I don't know if any of you guys can see that. Send a check in. Approach trail mile 4.4, okay. 4.4, <laughs> not too bad. First sign in a while. Actually, first sign since I started. Other than the blue blazes. Hike in one mile that way to the right. Springer mile on 3.5 miles ahead. All right, here we go. You can feel that cold front whipping in now. Did see that winds are supposed to pick up to, I think 30 miles an hour, maybe 40 mile an hour gust uh, in or around Springer Mountain um, in that base, that shelter. So, and a few more miles to go. And hopefully, I'd like to get a ride back to the lodge with a shuttle while I'm, I'm driving out here. So when I get there, try to look up a shuttle on the Far Out app, see what I can find. Hopefully, I'd like to see some other hikers maybe up there starting or doing something. So until then, carry on. Well, I didn't get it on video, but managed to see my first wildlife on trail. That was a pheasant coming down this side of the hill here and just took off as I rounded this corner. And I did see a pileated woodpecker earlier kind of fly, fly across my path too. So looking forward to some more of that. Good stuff. First uh, water catchment and uh, filtration attempt on the AT. Didn't have to wait long. Got a liter and a half filled up. Probably more than I need. Um, but it was a nice time to stop and take a rest and do that. Well, I was just at Springer called to see what my mom was up to and she is already in the parking lot, which is about a mile maybe ahead in the trailhead, so. I think it's a, they said it was around 11 o'clock. So I think I made pretty decent time and get to enjoy the rest of the afternoon, drying out, getting something to eat, and uh, you know, planning the next steps, which is coming back here tomorrow morning and uh, starting my journey alone. And uh, hopefully be in the Smokies within the next two weeks, I guess, and uh, see how resupplies go. So I'm all on my way. So, one little battle at a time, 
might be one little hill most likely going to be one little step but every journey begins with that first step best wishes to everybody on the trails